What's up everybody this is Nastik and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can get started with making beats in FL Studio. So this is not going to be like a complete beginner's tutorial. So in this video we'll just discuss the basics of what you can do to get started with making beats. So without further ado let's just get into it. So the first question that we need to ask is how do we start a song? When we have a blank canvas how do we get into building a song around? So we have few things for that. The first thing would be if you have a melody idea in your head you can use that to build a song around you can just first replicate that melody onto fl studio then you can just build a song around that so the second thing would be to have uh, maybe you have some kind of groove in inside your head that you want to build a song around so in that case you can start off with a drum pattern as well and if you do not have any inspiration and if you want to just force that inspiration and build a beat around it then in that case you can start always start off with a chord progression that is what i do or you can just use a sample and get some inspiration from that sample so in this video i do not have anything in mind so i will be starting fresh without you know any any ideas or anything so in this video we will not use any samples because i do not want you guys to use samples when you're starting out so we will be making a chord progression and then we will build a song around that chord progression before we get uh, into the chord progression just a little tip that i want to give you that uh, just learn the basics of music theory that what uh, what are chords what are scales keys and everything just the very basics if you want you can obviously learn as much as you want that will always help you out in your music career but just learning the basics will uh, can get you started and it will make your life a lot simpler when you're using samples and when you're uh, tuning your drums and stuff like that all right so without further ado let's just get into it the first thing that we want to do is we want um to set a bpm of the track so what bpm basically means is that it's going to decide how fast or how slow your song is going to be so basically these days all hip hop is made in double time so anything above 90 i would say can be counted as uh, double time so what that means is that let's say you have a song in 70 bpm so instead of 70 we will ma make that in 140 bpm so that's what basically double time means so a basic thing that you can follow it's not rule of thumb but um you can follow it uh, when you're starting out uh, is that you can use uh, 140 160 maybe 130 or 150 as well uh, in order to make these hardcore trap beats let's say something that Travis Scott would rap on and if you want to make something on the mellow side maybe something for J Cole then you can go for 90 or 180 80, 90 or 100 bpm something around that so it's and again it's not a rule of thumb it's uh, depends upon the vibe that you want to go for and the type of beat that you are making but uh, this is something that you can follow when you're starting out so for this video we will be making a beat uh, at 100 bpm so i'll just select this piano preset and i will build a chord uh, build a chord progression around it so basically you can pick a scale when you are starting uh, to make a song or you can just go with uh, go by your ear so a scale would just be the set of notes that you like so if you're not familiar with the scales and keys there's a, a little stamp button inside the uh, playlist in fl studio if you click on that uh, it's going to show you all the scales and let's say we want to make a song in a minor so we'll just select the minor natural scale and we'll place it on the a key so it will just show you all the notes in the a minor scale so it's uh, all the white notes uh, starting from a so this is something that you can use uh, let's say you, if you're using a sample that's in c minor you can just go up here click on minor and click on c it will show you all the notes inside the c minor scale So for this video I'll be making a beat in the A minus in order to make our first chord I will put one note on A So once we have picked a scale we can just skip every other note on that scale and that will form our first and that's how we can form a chord progression So what I mean by that is the next key on this A minor uh, scale would be this B key because this is the next wi uh, white key after A. So we will skip this one and we will put the next key on uh, the the next note on the C and then we will skip D and we will put uh, the next note on E key. So this will be our A minor chord. It sounds something like that. Uh, I'll just move it down one octave. That's how you make a chord. Once you have built the first chord just 
listen for the that one note that is the most prominent one for you so it can be the top can be the middle one or can be the uh, bottom note so let's just hear the chord once and see what is the most prominent note that we hear from the three so i'm hearing the top note uh, that this is the most prominent one for me so we will now build a chord progression based on the tone of this first note so So now I have added these two notes based on this note. So in the, uh, so the top note from the first chord guided me to put these two notes. These two notes will be the top note on the subsequent chords. So instead of going upwards this time I will go downwards and I will use the same formula that I have to skip every note on the scale. So this so this these will be our uh, other two chords let's just listen to it and then on the last bar i'll just repeat the first chord if you want to give a little bit of a different vibe to the last one from the first one you can uh, you can reverse these chords so what i mean by that is let's say we can pick this top note and we can move it down one octave so now to move things down an octave on the playlist you can select control and the down arrow key or if in order to move it up one octave you can press control and down up and the up arrow key so it's not necessary to do it with the top note you can do it with the bottom note or uh, the middle note as well just move it up move it up or down one octave this is now a basic chord progression and we can build a complete song around it so this is a four bar chord progression you only need a four bar melody a four bar chord progression or a four bar of drum loop to build an entire song so what i mean by bars is that four beats consist of one bar so let's say if you zoom in here these small lines that you see i'm sorry these small lines that you see these are beats and from here to here is one bar so if i uh, if i enable the metronome so 1 2 3 4 once we have this four bar chord progression we can then build a whole song around this four bar chord progression okay so once our chord progression is done now let's just get into the melody the melody part i'll just clone this uh, piano preset and i will just build a melody around this chord progression so the simplest way of making the melody is just going up and down the scale or you can just use the notes uh, that uh, that you have used in your chord progression and there's a tip that i want to give that when you're making a melody just keep it simple because uh, if you're making melody if you're making beats for someone to rap or sing over it and you you are going crazy with the melody on the beat then the artist won't really have enough room to do their thing on it so you can just make sure that the melody that you're making is simple so let's just get into it and see what we can do with the melody part
सो वी हैव अ कॉर्ड प्रोग्रेशन वी हैव वन सिंपल मेलेडी नाउ प्रिपेयर्ड आई जस्ट मे बी चेंज दिस मेलेडी इन टू अ डिफरेंट प्री सेट Okay so our melody is done our chord progression is done we have changed the presets to the one that we like uh, one other thing that i want you guys to pay attention to is uh, what i'm doing with these velocities so just make sure that when you're making melodies and chord progression you always randomize these velocities because when a keyboard player is playing the keys uh, they they do not hit the keys with the same velocities every time so just to humanize you can use this uh, you you can use this method and one other thing that i uh, that i did in the melody is that instead of keep uh, like keeping every note on the down beat like this maybe uh, like this this or this you can add notes in between like on the small uh, on the smaller lines so that just gives a little bounce to the, uh, to the melody and it's you know not it's not very static if you use uh, these if you just use these random notes in between it just it will just give a little bounce to it so we have two elements prepared i just want one melody just one simple melody uh, and that can be just a simple piano to go over it All right so this is also done we have our three basic elements that we can build a whole song around now so i'll just rename everything and now we will just assign these to their own separate patterns so a shorter way of doing that would be to just click on this arrow and then once this drop down menu is opened then press the s key on your keyboard and it will just separate it for you now we can get on to the drums so basic drum sample that you would need when you are making hip hop is kick uh you can use a clap or a snare you need a hi hat maybe a open hi hat as well and for the bass of for the for the bass element on your track you can either use a bass line or you can use an 808 so for the bass 808 is pretty much uh, what is used in hip hop So the most simple way you can start off making drum patterns in in FL Studio step sequencer is that uh, once you have selected your hi hat right click on it and click on fill each two steps so it's going to fill every two step on uh, on the step sequencer So snare is done <clears throat> and now we'll just add the kick pattern so now once our kick is also done now uh, we will add the 808 to it whenever you're using 808s you always need to need to tune them before you use it so the root note for all these drums are already labeled so it's going to be easier for us to tune the uh, tune these so i just need to click on this 808 i'll just go to this section that looks like a half triangle and the key of this 808 as it says on the title it's in c sharp and every uh, the root note of every sample is selected by uh, selected as c by default in fl studio so you just need to right click on the c sharp note and it will change the root note as you can see over here and now our 808 is tuned the next thing that you can do for the 808 is enable this envelope section so you can just uh turn down the key turn down the hold uh, all the way to the up and turn down every uh, turn down everything so the hold will be up and everything would be down so what that will do is that will give you more control over the 808 so whenever you press a key and you release it the 808 will stop playing so it's it's going to come in handy so now in order to so now uh, in order to make the 808 pattern you can just copy and paste the kick 
to the 808 and then just increase all these notes to the to the closest one there's a shortcut for doing uh, this but I forgot the shortcut if if any one of you know that please let me know in the uh, comment section down below all right so once we have uh, these 808s all lined up I'll just move it down to the key of our track the the root note of our track that is a and this is how it's gonna sound So now once we have made uh, our entire drum pattern, we can make changes to the hi-hat as well by adding hi-hat rolls. It's going to give a little bit of a different bounce. So we can add triplets uh, on these hi-hats. So just go down to this uh, button that says uh, that that looks like a magnet and change the snap to grid to one by three. Just go by your ear and see where you want to add the hi-hat roll. What we can do is just increase the size of this note con hit control on your keyboard highlight it and then click control plus u so it's gonna divide the uh, so it's gonna make shorter versions of that note so it's uh, so it's gonna make shorter versions of that note and this is how it's gonna sound but I'll just make it a little shorter I really do not follow any rules when I'm making uh, these uh, hi-hat rolls. Uh, I just go by the air if it's gonna, if it's sounding good and it's not messing the overall groove of the beat, then I'll just keep it. And once you have made the like this two bar section for the uh, for the hi hats, you can just copy and paste it to the last two bars and just change, uh, just make some minor changes on this on the second part. We have now all the elements for our beat added to our playlist, and now I'll show you how you can arrange them to make this four bar into a full complete song. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'll just highlight everything and I'll press Ctrl B on my keyboard and we'll just copy and paste it till we are around the 3 minutes mark and then we can start off with arranging the track. So the first 4 or 8 bars in your track is going to be for, for your intro so you're not going to hit everything from, uh, like from the beginning you want to delete everything at the beginning part just maybe for the first for the first four bars i'll just keep the chord progression maybe on the second four bar of the intro i'll maybe uh, like introduce the piano after the first eight bars of intro uh, we can jump into the, so we can have an eight bar chorus on the track so this eight bar is going to be our chorus part and i'll just keep everything uh, like everything that we have made for the beat inside the chorus section So now once uh, our 8 bar chorus is done, we need to transition to the verse section from the chorus part. So we cannot have everything inside the, uh, inside the, inside the verse uh, because we need some kind of contrast when we are uh, transitioning from the chorus to the verse. So I'll just remove this melody that we made and I'll remove the piano as well. So for the first 8 bars of the verse, we'll just keep the chords and the drums. And for the second eight bar of the chorus, maybe I'll just add this piano, uh, this little piano over here. You can have a 16 bars verse in your uh, in your track. A 12 or a 16 bar verse is is gonna be idle. One little thing that we are gonna do to the verse part is after the first eight bars, I'll just uh, at the end of this uh, eight bar for the verse, I'll just remove everything so that we can transition into the second. Uh, part of the verse
so since we need to transition from the verse to the chorus now and the chorus should hit hard because it's going to be the, like the most memorable part of the song so for the most part on every song chorus is going to be like the most energetic part so in order to give our chorus a little bit more energy you can uh do the same thing like we did over here or maybe you can just uh keep this or maybe i'll keep this hi hat as well then we'll have a second chorus and for the rest of the track i'll just delete everything after the second chorus i'll copy everything from the first verse i'll paste it once we hit the second verse after the second uh, after the second chorus we can make some changes so that it's not identical to the first verse like for example we can just remove the 808s from the first part for for the, for the first eight bars of the verse too so it's going to sound like this and in order to end the track you can uh, there there are uh, like certain ways to end the track either you can just uh, increase one of these uh, patterns so that the song does not end abruptly as soon as it reaches the end it's going to leave a little bit of a tail or once the chorus is done you can just copy paste it and you can just fade fade the volume of the master track by by right clicking on the, uh, by by right clicking on this master fader and Uh, selecting create automation clip so once the automation clip is there you can just go to the end section right click on it click on copy and just come down to the last four bars of your track after your last chorus right click on the beginning of the last four bar first uh, so it's it's going to add like this marker point right click on it click on paste first and then just move down it and move it down uh, like from the ending so it's going to just fade out the track yeah so these are one or two ways on which you can end the track so that was it guys that was the video on how you can get started with making beats in fl studio if you like what you saw please make sure you you give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification do all that kind of stuff and uh, if you have any question or if you want me to make a video for anything specific that you want just leave a comment down below i will uh, reply to your comment and if a video is required for that topic i will make a video for that as well you can check out all my socials on the description down below and i will see you guys in the next video peace out chota saal ka tha tab se hi janta tha rap ek khada dara singh bana jata tha shabdon ko modu jaise beta main hu om kar katta na rakha par shabdon se cheet dala khel sara mere samne lage bechara naaste ke bahumukhi iske